Hello everyone to Fallout 1 and 3, episode 6. In this episode I'm actually going to focus on going to the raider camp, the raiders that took the daughter of Eridesh, the leader of Sage Sands. And we're going to go check it out and we're going to go rescue them. We're going to help Shady Sands out once again because they deserve it. Okay. So I'm going to quick save here and name it Raiders. Okay. And I'll make sure we have enough equipment with us. We got armor, we got a rifle, SMGs. We have grenades, which I'm actually probably going to use. And all this should help me uh, defeat these raiders. With Ian as well, with me as well. As well twice. Um, what am I looking for here? I don't want Ian to go into the battlefield with like, you know, half health or something. Alright, let's go to the raiders. This is how I'm mainly going to travel. I would click randomly, but these point me in the right direction. Cons. That's the that's the Raider group. They're also in New Vegas. The Cons are a very known Raider group. Look safe. This is their camp, where all their operations are, at least for the moment. As you can tell, there's a lot of stuff we can take. Me. Campfire. There's gonna be a lot of them in there. But I think we can take them. But that grenade's gonna come and play. Go say hello. Let's see if I can talk it out first. I'm gonna see if I can do that. I think I can. Yeah, they look dirty and mean. Yep, yeah, that's about right. Quick save often. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. Have you seen her? I ain't seen her. Please, what do you? Why are you asking? Oh, I, mean, I feel like they would really like. They'd be like, see eye to eye with me if I say this. Uh, there's a bounty on her head. If I can kill her, I can get some cash. Really? What does she look like? Six feet tall, blonde, shady sand. Yeah, she's here. She's in the big house, you know. If we tell Garl what a piece of that bounty. I want to think about that. Thing is bacon. Really? Who? Who? Who saved Negan? Daryl? <laughs> yeah, Walking Dead's great. <laughs> Conversation. So I can I just walk in? I think I, can, I think I can just walk in. Oh man, speech checks. I think I can, I think I can just walk in. Oh my god, I've infiltrated the raiders. Hideouts. See a desert bandit. Based not on the others, look at her. Must have some position of importance of authority. See a bruised, battered woman. Okay, this must be them. Please help me, okay. This I'm Gwen. I'm one of Garl's advisors. Who are you? Oh, damn. I'm Melon. What do you do around here? As an advisor, I make sure that no lives cause any trouble to Garl. I feel like they'd actually like me saying that. How do you do that? I have ways to make certain underdogs are no longer here. 
Oh goodness, okay. Uh, prove it then. I can see that Al is wrong. Probably could do your job well. But. Nobody special than I'm about to okay. Alright. I feel like that would be aggro and I'd pick that up. Barter, I can barter with them. Yeah, I'm just gonna I probably should have done that. Um Alright. Why we saved the game? <laughs> I'm kind of curious, however, if I just say I'm looking for a woman named Tina. I've seen her. And just a friend of mine. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. They let me in just for saying that. That's Garl, leader of the cons. What do you want? I come in peace to negotiate the release of Tandy. Hmm, well then, what do you offer for her release? Holy crap! I, re I represent a threat you don't even understand. Do you really want to risk our wrath? Hmm, for some reason I believe you. You may take the girl. Do not return unless you seek our wrath. Holy crap. Crap, I just passed that speech check. I'll come back later. Take their stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff in there, though. I could use it. I could very well use it. I'm gonna quick save Raiders each chip. Alright, let's return her back home. Let's take her home first. Then I'll take their stuff. Because they're Raiders and they're bad. That stuff is mine now. Will eventually be. Um, 500 experience for freeing Tandy. And 400 experience for returning Tandy to level 4 now. I'm a Vault Elite. Ooh, I can pick a perk. Ooh, a Swift Learner. That's what I usually pick. You are indeed a Swift Learner with this perk. As each level will give you additional five times five, that's bonus. Five times bonus or five percent bonus whenever you earn experience. Best purchase at an early level. Exactly what it says. Games. A smooth talker has learned to increase their options and dialogue without understanding what they're talking about. Each level of this perk will increase your Intelligence by one for purposes of dialogue. <laughs> Presence is pretty cool. Awareness. Those are all really good. <laughs> Maybe not quick pockets. Oh, maybe. I, they're all good. A swift learner, it says take it at an early level. I'll come back for smooth talker. I'm gonna take swift learner. and It's perfect. My speech will be super good. All guns. Game so fun. Harder. Let's do science. I should up my science. A speech. I'm. I want speech to be absolute priority. Absolute priority. 
Okay, I'm gonna hard save. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Eridesh and see what he thinks of me returning his daughter. His daughter. Hello. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Reward. Thanks. Be for more. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's it? Until we meet again, my friend. May the water you find in the desert not shine at you in the dark. Why is it shit? Okay, so uh, where's Tandy at? Hi. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great. Action, adventure. Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, how about a few more questions? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Uh, what else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. No problem. Anything else? What's going on around town? Or around here? <sighs> Nothing much since you whomp those rad scorpions. Gee, I wish I could have seen that. Have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. No problem. Anything else? How do you like it? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Fair. Um. Seems nice and nice and safe here, though. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain's gonna leak out of my ear at any moment. Uh, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone, and no one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. <laughs> Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Well, that's about it. Thanks for your time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Bye. <laughs> God. I am on a good standing, I guess. An okay standing, but they're killers, and they must... They're gonna kill me. Okay, um... Yeah, they're killers. They deserve to die. Horrible. And okay, there's a lot. Um, okay, but they got spears. We're chilling. They got, they got, they got spears. Single fire. Classic. Very classic. It's gonna turn into a gunfight. Don't you dare. Oh, uh, he missed. No, I'm, I'm okay with that. I am. I really am. Ooh! Damn, shattered! Alright, who's next? Nice job, Ian. Nice job. Okay, he has a gun. Petrox, or Petro, whatever his name is. This guy, he has a gun. A gun. 42%. Ah, that's pretty good odds. From this distance. I killed the person in front. I can take that. Nice. We're doing so well. We can, like, loot their bodies and everything. We'll get a bunch of stuff. Oh, he dead now. Petrox, or Petro, was hit in the groin for 12 points and was killed. I don't- I can't stand raiders. They must die. See what they have on them. Ooh, this is all mine. Combat armor? Or no, that's leather armor. Spear, throwing knife. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the 
leather armor. It's like combat armor. More caps. Ooh, I'll get this for Ian. How do I? With that, I'll buff out. All right, Ian, I'm gonna need you to, uh, combat? I can't. Sorry, Ian. Uh, I'm gonna give you some leather armor. Do I? Is that me? That's me. I don't know if he's gonna equip it. Combat tech. Change your armor. Okay, fantastic. Enjoy your best weapon. That's all for now. Okay. Yes. We style him. Raiders raided. Meh. Seems fair. Um, okay. Can I make this shot from here. 79%. Missed. That's fine, that's cool, that's cool. I can roll with that. Ooh. Nine hit, hit points. May take a while. But, this may be a very important fight to have. Hey, uh, Ian, you got somebody behind you. No problem. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, hit, only one hit point? <laughs> it's nothing. I missed. Hey, Ian, you're taking all the kills, dude. Oh my goodness. This thing's amazing. In turn. Alright. Uh, so you have no idea. Classic. A sledgehammer that I can sell. I can't even hold it. Okay. Going to again just trade rotations. Take that. Uh, take that. Take that. This. Those I have no idea what they are. Take one of these. You don't. I mean, I want one. The canteens. Um, take a buff out. I could, but eh. I'm gonna toss a grenade in there. I think that's what we want to do. I love the music. Really good, actually. Okay, I need to get past this guy so I can throw a grenade. In the next room. I can tell that hurt. 11 hit points. Uh oh. Ian, please don't hit me. Ooh, he dead now. Okay. Uh, Alright, Ian, don't go over there. Ah, oh, the one problem. I want to blow up Ian. This is a this, is, this could be very bad. It costs four. I'm gonna move away from it. Shabam! 
That did nothing. How's that do nothing? Cool. Um. Oh, he did not. To the nade in there. Bam! Oh. 26 hit point on Garl. Eh. That's right. You stimp it. And yeah, while I'm here. Bonk to me, but freaking bat. Alright, Ian, I got gotcha. you. No worries. And doctor. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hard save. Raiders raided. Box in here, I want. Taking that. 44 ammunition. Eh, what? Oh, oh shit. I miss. Oh no. Oh no, not good. I missed again. Ian, oh no, man. God. Darn it. I'm gonna move to the side just a little bit so I don't hit Ian. Ian's. I want Ian to get hit. Nice. Perfect. Move closer to the Raider. Dead now? Ooh, he did! Okay. Was brutal. I'm gonna wait so it's brighter. Okay, maybe not. Caps. Hey, lighter. Sure, why not? Be one right here. Some areas. All right, buddy. Chose the wrong side. Guns and bullets magazine. Is that a frag grenade? Want it? I want it. That. Maybe I'll do some damage. Also, read. I want to surprise this person. Spotted. Okay. Um, grenade. Shit. Uh, nine millimeter. I'm gonna have to use um the SMG I gave to Ian. Gosh dang it. Ian, why do you stand in front of me? You're an idiot. Sorry. Just the truth, man. It's just the truth. You're really good at fighting, though. So am I. Oh, you're here. I got a little close, man. I'm gonna need you to go back up a little bit. Bam! Oh, single fire. Yep. Using it. Um, I mean, how can you like? How can you not use it? Bam! Car crushing your enemies. <laughs> oh, far crushing. Uh, well, my turn. 
I, if you, in case you y'all are wondering, I do have the combat speed turned all the way up. Otherwise, they just walk and take forever, forever. So I have it uh, in the settings set to max. Yeah, it looks weird, but saves a lot of time. Bam. We're unstoppable. We're taking on a whole Raider camp. You ask for anything more? For crushing your enemies, you earn 110 experience. You can do whatever you want in this game. Do whatever you want. Do things how you see fit. What is that? The Desert Eagle. Magical. I'll be taking all of this. Gonna test it out. Here, here. Desert Eagle 44. An ancient Desert Eagle pistol in .44 Magnum. Interest in late 20th century, <laughs> 20th century films. Made this one of the most popular handguns of all times. Eagle. Get my way. It's just. That. Oh, shotgun shells. Cool. Much neato. And a dynamite, more shotgun. Is that. Oh, it's a shotgun right there. You know, I need to hold some stuff. Make it awesome. So many good guns in this game. This shotgun. A Winchester Widowmaker. Double barreled, 12 gauge shotgun. Short barreled with mahogany with mahogany grip. Yeah, I'm done here. I'm gonna search all the bodies real quick. Oh, oh, oh. How many are there? That's Ian. That's definitely not Ian. Oh. Is that Ian? Oh, you are so dead. In turn. Well, you had stuff on you. I have so much Desert Eagle ammo. Much. Oh, I can take this and sell it. That's my game plan. Sell everything. Okay, that's everyone. I. Th oh my gosh, they got all the death. Hey, they got. They started it. Hey, put them out there. Okay, maybe I started it, but you know, they're they are bad people and they should die. That's my justification. I just need that metal armor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna deck out. Oh yeah. Metal armor. Polished metal plates crudely form forming a suit of armor. Providing better protection than all leather armors. It slows the wearer's mobility. Somewhat. This model features spikes added to the shoulder, a popular fashion statement this year. <laughs> it weighs 35 pounds. Amazing. Yep, yeah, I'm done here. Oh my shit, I don't need... Save. You never know what will happen once you leave an area. I want to sell my stuff. Pardon. Gosh, okay. Four hours. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I need I need to go to the hub. 
sell everything. Things happen. That. Do it. Oh, nope, nope. All right, I think that's where I'll end it here, though. The next episode, I'm probably gonna look for a place to sell my stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do. It's either Junk Town or the Hub. I'm not too sure which one I'll do, but that's definitely the plan. We raided those raiders. Seems fitting. They were mean. They all have stuff I wanted. Uh, I made sure that happened. It wasn't really much of a danger at all, really, besides the random grenade that Ian did. That's fine. Anyway, this concludes this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.